is up fam welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot this reading here is for my Taurus Zodiac sign we are just going to do a general reading see what's uh, coming towards you or what's happening for you here what messages you know whatever needs to come out for you Taurus okay all right spirit what messages does Taurus need to hear at this moment what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear at this moment okay so we got beware be careful who you trust at this time what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear at this moment Give me one more. What are the messages that Taurus needs to hear at this moment? And Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Luck, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So you do have this at the bottom of the deck. So some things are opening up for you here. With these two cards as well, beware. There could be some energy around you that's not really... Uh, favoring of you okay be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis there's some stuff that's going down but let's see there could be people that like snake in the grass type of energy um could be friends family that you may not trust or that may come off as friends but they're actually frenemy type of energy here um, but I see you rising above something here. If you've been going through a difficult time, that's that's coming to an end, okay? Uh, you could have just went through a major rebirth with this Phoenix uh, energy as well. Let's see. What's coming in for Taurus? So what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear? Yeah, Four of Cups. Something has went down that you're not too happy about. You feel like there's a missed opportunity here. Or you're just becoming bored here. The High Priestess, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There could have been something you were hoping for that would happen, but it didn't. It didn't come into fruition here. Or you feel like you're still waiting on it. Or you're feeling like something um, still hasn't taken off yet and you're ready for it to take off. Let me close this blind just a little bit because of the lighting. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see, what else is happening for Taurus? What are the messages that Taurus needs to hear? Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're working away at something here. You're spending a lot of time. Some of you feel quite bored or you're not feeling fulfilled here at the moment here. Uh, this could be with work or you could be working on a project. Maybe the project isn't taking off the way that you're wanting it to. Ace of Cups or a love situation isn't taking off the way you're wanting it to here. Or maybe you feel like you're not getting the love that you want from a person. Knight of Pentacles, top of the deck. So this could be either or. Money, career, love. Something's moving very slow to you and it hasn't come into fruition yet that you're uh, looking forward to. And you're like, man, when is it coming? It's coming. Okay. You're, something, something's... You have to remember something's happening in divine timing for our re for a reason, right? And most times it's for protection, okay? And as I'm seeing this, beware, uh, be careful who you trust at this time. That could be the reason that things haven't taken off quite that way because somebody needs to get out of your energy or something needs to shift before it takes place. What messages does Taurus need to hear at this moment? What are the messages that Taurus needs to hear at this moment? The world card. Yes, yeah, something's coming to an end here. There's a major cycle that is coming to a close here. There's been a lot of disappointment. You felt like um, you felt like this was everything. Could have had something to do with your stability in life, whether it was a job or a relationship here. It's coming to an end. It's something you put a lot of time and energy into, but you're moving on from it here with the Six of Swords energy. Yeah, Five of Pentacles at the top of the deck. This could be a loss of a job. Uh, something that you put a lot of uh, time and work into, a lot of focus into here, or this could be a relationship that you were trying to build with someone and it's came to an end. You weren't getting what you needed in the relationship or you weren't getting what you needed out of that job here. Somebody became bored. Somebody became, I'm getting the word unattentive. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Somebody could have been juggling people, okay? There could have been uh, a situation where somebody was juggling you and another person. They were being very deceptive, going behind your back here. The Death card, I told you, you went through a major transformation for that Phoenix card to come out. The Phoenix energy is the Scorpio energy. The Death card is the Scorpio energy. So that represents going through a huge, major transformation. So that's exactly what you're going through here. With this Two of Pentacles and Seven of Swords, this does tell me that there was some type of deception going on here. Where either there was someone being wishy-washy behind your back. Okay, this could have been a friendship, a family member, a lover. Could have been juggling two different situations or scenarios. Whether it was another person, okay, or just another hobby or project that they weren't giving you enough time and energy for. Yeah, Eight of Cups and you had to walk away. Some of you felt like a job was just too much. Maybe you were giving too much to a job and it, it was causing causing too much juggling. Like you felt like you didn't have enough time and effort. 
uh, to plan things out or organize things here, you, or you felt like you were working for a, a conniving type of job that was being very deceptive, maybe, you know, um, giving somebody else more credit than you were getting when it was a balanced job or when it was equal, equal give and take. The moon card. Yeah, there was something being hidden here, but that secret's going to come to the light. Some of you, you may find out more when it comes to money with this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could be uh, swindling you for money. What? Somebody could have been swindling you for money because you had your guard down. It was someone that you were still indecisive about here. Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the High Priestess energy. You're going to find out there's some type of money that was being hidden from you. Or some type of abundance that was being hidden from you. Because Ten of Pentacles... Most times it represents like money, finances, materialistic things. But it could be anything that people see as abundant, right? But some there, you haven't found everything out yet. There's something else that's going to come. Just be patient. Yeah. The star, the temperance, and the eight of cups. Somebody had a lot of hope for this situation. Wishing that this would uh, resolve. Wishing that this would heal. Whatever this was, okay? But I see you walking away with this eight of cups. You walked away. You put it down. You let it go. You finally said, I can't do it anymore. But don't be surprised when some news comes out here. Something's being hidden that's going to be illuminated uh, with this moon energy here. And it's, it, could have, it could be something that's right in your face or a person that's right in your face. And you're like, wow, I never knew that person was like that towards me. I really thought they were my friend. I really thought that they were uh, someone I could trust. What other messages do you have for Taurus? The bad health, adjudication. Yeah, it's going to come out unexpected income and you're going to receive some type of courtship could be something to do with a person that you were dating maybe if you were dating somebody in the office here to me it looks like you've went through a lot of stress with this bad health adjudication unexpected income just know it's going to be um i'm not going to say it's going to be worth it but it's going to you're going to get some type of payout from this here okay you're going to get some type of compensation some type of payout whatever this was here because it seems like it caused a lot of stress it caused a lot of worry uh burdensome like some of you i feel like you hadn't been sleeping at night you've been feeling like um things just weren't right or maybe the way the situation went about it wasn't fair it was unfair but you'll receive you're going to receive some type of unexpected income and it's going to be I don't know if it's going to be like a bonus or like a severance pay or something like that. Okay. Any other messages for Taurus that you need Taurus to know? Let's see. Any other messages for Taurus? We have surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay. So just kind of releasing it to the universe. Allowing the universe to get um, your repercussions. Your karma. Okay. Is what... what the universe is saying failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay. And then we're going to get your last cards, which is the fortune cookies for Taurus. What last messages do you have for Taurus? All right. So your last cards are opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. All right. And then we also have here, wish it would focus. There we go. And then we also have romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Okay. So it looks like you do have an opportunity for romance coming in. You may not be looking for it right now, but that's kind of when it comes in when you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're not looking. Okay. And uh, opportunity is going to be coming up here for you. So just keep your head up. Try not to stress too much about it. I feel like you've done enough stressing. These are the messages I feel that they wanted to give. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.